Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show how to bypass iCloud activation lock semi tethered using Broke Remedies Pro. As you can see, this iPhone 8, 8 is activation locked. As you can see, this only works on Checkmate devices from iOS 15 up to iOS 17. The first step is to download WinRain 2.0, as it contains the root full jailbreak required to bypass. Do not download other versions of WinRain, including 2.1 version. Use 2.0 as it contains the necessary things needed. Open WinRain 2.0. Select root full and click this. Make sure you take this course. Without this, it will not work, especially if it's the first time using Rootful Jailbreaks with Pelrain 2.0.0. Click. Next, if you are using it on iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and A11 devices like iPhone X, which is I'm using right now, just click OK. It's just a warning that you won't be able to use password. Just click OK and let it enter recovery mode. This will take some time, so be very patient. Then follow the instruction to enter the device into DFU mode. Let the de device jailbreak process begin. This will take a while, so be very patient. And also, please note, the creation of fake FS will take some time, up to 10 minutes. So be really, really patient for the first jailbreak boot. As I already said, this will ten, take 10 minutes to create the fake FS. After you create the fake FS, redo the jailbreak without the create fake FS option. Please be patient as the iPhone is creating the fake FS required.
and the phone rebooted. So you click done, then go to Perrin 2.0 beta 7 again, go to root full. Now and take this and redo the process to jailbreak the device once more. Once the fake FS is created, click next. You get this warning for A11 devices such as iPhone 8, 8 Plus and X. Just click OK if you're using such devices. This is a reminder of our passcode related stuff. Click OK. Then let the device enter recovery mode. This will take some time. Be really patient. Now follow the instructions to enter DFU mode after you click start. I put the device in DFU mode as you can see following the instructions. Now let the power rain jailbreak on WinRain do the job. If you get this error, not to worry too much. I'll be giving tips and tricks on how to fix the error. Unfortunately, my jailbreak, the second attempt failed. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to fix the issue. Try changing your USB port, especially connect your iPhone cable to your back of the PC USB port if you're using a desktop PC like me. And also click fix drivers to make sure the drivers is fixed correctly so that the port DFU portion will work properly. These are some tips and tricks on how to solve some issues, especially I just encountered during this video recording. Click root full, make sure you don't take this already. So click next, follow the instructions to put on DFU mode in the next step. The A11 instruction, just click OK. The warning, just click OK. That's it. Then you just click start and do the procedure as usual very important i put the device on dfu mode as part of the procedure once you get all done you can now quit and let your iphone go up to the help screen and boom now it's back to the setup screen I show you this device is remain activation lock. To show you the bypass working correctly. You can open broke MD Pro, open the folder, open broke MD Pro. Wait for it to connect the server. You can close the folder if you want to. You can click OK. Let it connect the server. Then connect to iDevice. This will take some time, so be patient. Click this to copy your device ECID and go to the link here. Paste your ECID here. Click register to register your ECID. I'm just demonstrating how to register your ECID. Since my device already registered previously, I click options. Select padded iCloud bypass 1517. Click back. Click start. Click Bypass iCloud. Let it, the bypass process complete. And OK. The device should go to the home screen automatically. And boom, it's now on the home screen as you can see. Let me show you what happened if I turn off and turn on the device again. Please note the device is a tethered bypass so if you restart the device it will go back to the hello screen let me show you it's semi tethered i mean now turn on the device you click done 
and close book Remedies Pro. Click yes. You can close. You can close this. You go back to the software update complete screen and go activation log. A few moments later, as you can see, rebooting the device will return to activation log screen. To re bypass the device and return to home screen, simply rerun the WinWin jailbreak. Open WinWin 2.0. Select Rootful. Make sure you don't click this again. Uh. The create fake FS. Click next. You get this warning if you're using A11 device. Click OK. Then you will follow the procedure to enter the device in DFU mode. This will take some time to enter the recovery mode. Put the device in, in DFU mode as seen in these steps. Let the jailbreak process begin. Let the device load to the hello screen, I mean the home screen after the jailbreak. And boom, back to the home screen after the jailbreak is proce process is completed. As you can see, this is a semi headed bypass which requires you to re jailbreak the device to return back to the home screen and bypass the device once more. Please note, you have to do this step to reboot the device or when you ever you turn off and on your device. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please do like, share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel. A heart for everybody who came to my video and watched me teach you how to jailbreak devices. Please do support me by donating on my PayPal and also please support me by following on Twitter as well. See you in another video. Bye for now.